So, Saturday night, the big night, date night, Saturday night, Saturday night. <laughs> no plans, huh? Not a one. How old is that sock? If I had a sock on my hand for 30 years, I'd be talking too. Okay, I think it's time to change somebody's nicotine patch. Hey. Where's Joey? Joey ate my last stick of gum, so I killed him. Do you think that was wrong? Thing, Janice, you know, I mean, it's like we're different, you know, I'm like the bing, 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 you're like the boom, boom, boom. Ow! Oh, my God! Ow. I'm so sorry. Ow. Are you okay? Ow. Um, it's just my lens, it's my lens. Um, Yo. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> I hit her in the eye! I hit her in the eye! This is the worst breakup in the history of the world! Oh, my God! One thing. What? What? That's a relatively open weave, and I can still see your nipular area. Oh. <laughs> still upset because I saw her boobies. <laughs> well, what? what? What were you doing seeing her boobies? It was an accident. Not like I was across the street with a telescope and a box of donuts. <laughs> you guys, you know what I just realized? Joker is poker with a J. <laughs> Coincidence? Hey, that's that's Joe incidence with a C. <laughs> I'll show you to my room. That sounds so weird when it's not followed by no thanks, it's late. Ooh. Rach, Rach, we gotta settle. Settle what? The Jamestown colony of Virginia. <laughs> You see, King George is giving us the land, so... <laughs> hey, Mr. Kostelik, how's life on the 15th floor? Yeah, I miss you, too. Yeah, it's a lot less satisfying to steal pens from your own home, you know? <laughs> well, that's very generous. Ah, uh, but look, this isn't about the money, you know? It's just, I need something that's more than a job. I need something I really care about. And that's on top of the year-end bonus structure you mentioned earlier? Dream, dream. Look, Al, Al, I'm not playing hardball here, okay? This is not a negotiation. This is, this is a rejection. No, 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 stop saying, no, stop saying numbers. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. You've got the wrong guy. I'll see you Monday. <laughs> Man. Helen, could you come in here for a moment? Thank you, Helen. That'll be all. <laughs> Last time I do that, I promise. <laughs> yes, Fran, I know what time it is, but I'm looking at the weenus, and I'm not happy. <laughs> oh, Rit, 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 well, let me tell you something. You will care about it, because I care about it. You got it? Good. What? I thought you'd do that. No. -uh. <laughs> Who doesn't like me? Everyone. Except for, um, 
No, everyone. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't feel bad. You know, they used to like you a lot. But then you got promoted, and you know, now you're all like Mr. Boss Man. You know, Mr. Bing. Mr. Bing, Boss Man Bing. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, they even do you. <laughs> they do me? You know, like, um, okay. Um, could that report be any later? Oh. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Oh, oh, chill. Yeah, you do. <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> Okay, I don't sound like that. That is so not true. <laughs> that is so not, that is so not, that, oh, shut up. You'll get one. Oh, yeah? When? All right, I'll tell you what. When we're 40, if neither of us are married, what do you say you and I get together and have one? Why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I, I just meant hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, why won't I be married when I'm 40? No, no, no. No, I... no, what is it? Seriously, is there something fundamentally unmarriable about me? Uh, uh... Well? Dear God, this, this parachute is a knapsack. There's a little child inside this man. Yes, the doctors say if they remove it, he'll die. <laughs> From? Oh, that's uh, Rust. Oh. <clears throat> oh my God. He remembered. Remembered what? It was like months ago. We were walking by this antique store, and I saw this pin in the window, and I told him that it was just like one my grandmother had when I was a little girl. Oh, I can't believe he remembered. Well, sure, but can you play it on a plane? <laughs> This must have cost him a fortune. I can't believe he did this. Oh, come on, Ross. Remember back in college when he fell in love with Carol and bought her that ridiculously expensive crystal duck? What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> crystal duck. <laughs> No, no, no. The, um, the love part? Flannan. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. That's good. Just keep rubbing your head. That'll turn back time. <laughs> hey, Chen, can you help me out here? I promise I'll pay you back. Oh, yeah, right, okay, including the waffles last week, you now owe me 17 jillion dollars. <laughs> okay, I think she's trying to tell us something. <laughs> Quick, get the verbs. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Anybody know a good tailor? You need some clothes altered? No, no, I'm just looking for a man to draw on me with Chuck. <laughs> Why don't you go see Frankie? My family's been going to him forever. He did my first suit when I was 15. No, wait, 16. No, excuse me, 15. All right, when was 1990? Okay, you have to stop the Q-tip when there's resistance. Well, despite the yummy bagels and palpable tension, I've got pants that need to be altered. <clears throat> oh, hey, Chandler, when you see Frankie, tell him Joey Tribbiani says hello. He'll know what it means. You sure he's going to be able to crack that code? How long do you want the cuffs? Oh, at least as long as I have the pants. <laughs> I just got that. Okay. Now we'll do your inseam. <clears throat> Paisan. 
Can I talk to you for a sec? Your tailor is a very bad man. <laughs> Frankie, what are you talking about? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Joey's tailor <laughs> took advantage of me. <laughs> what? No way. I've been going to the guy for 12 years. Hey, oh, come on. He said he was going to do my inseam, then he ran his hand up my leg, and then there was definite... What? Cupping. <laughs> That's how they do pants. First they go up one side, they move it over, then they go up the other side, they move it back, and then they do the rear. <laughs> what? Ross, will you tell him? Isn't that how a tailor measures pants? Yes, yes, it is. In prison? <laughs> Hey. 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 So how is Joan? Broke up with her. Oh. oh hi. Hi. Don't tell me. Because of the big nostril thing? <laughs> they were huge. <laughs> when she sneezed, bats flew out of them. Come on, they were not that huge. I'm telling you, she leaned back. I could see her brain. <laughs> hey, Chandler. Monica just broke my seashell lamp. <laughs> Neat. I'm going to die alone. <laughs> Okay, you win. <laughs> Chandler, you are not gonna die alone. Janice is my safety net, okay? And now I have to get a snake. Uh-huh. Why is that? If I'm gonna be an old, lonely man, I'm gonna need a thing, you know? A hook. Like that guy in the subway who eats his own face. <laughs> so I figure I'll be crazy man with a snake, you know? Crazy snake man. Then I'll get more snakes, call them my babies, kids won't walk past my place, they will run! Run away from Crazy Snake Man! <laughs> Man, I sure miss Julie. Spanish midgets. Spanish midgets wrestling... Julie. Okay, yes, I see how you got there. <laughs> hey, Ben, remember us? Okay, the mole came off. <laughs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, uh, we'll flip for it. Ducks or clowns? Oh, we're going to flip for the baby? You got a better idea? All right, call it in here. <laughs> Heads. Heads it is. Yes. <sighs> we have to assign heads to something. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Uh, ducks is heads because ducks have heads. <laughs> kind of scary ass clowns came to your birthday. <laughs> wow, I, I don't know what to say. Eh, what do you say? I don't know. <laughs> it's a bracelet, isn't it? And it's a grave too, check it out. To my best bud. Thanks, best bud. <laughs> Put it on. Oh, now? <laughs> no, no, I think something this nice should be saved for a special occasion. Oh, no, no, that's the beauty part. It goes with everything. You put this on, you're good to go. <laughs> well, I've never been good to go, so uh, what the hell, why not try some jewelry, huh? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You are so wearing that bracelet. <laughs> I so am. Oh, you have any idea what this will do for your sex life? Well, it'll probably slow it down at first, but once I get used to the extra weight, I'll be back on track. <laughs> oh, this is excellent. You know, he could have got me a VCR, he could have got me a set of golf clubs, but no, he has to get me the woman repeller. The eyesore from the Liberace House of Crap! Uh, two larges, extra cheese on both. But listen, don't ring the buzzer for 19. Ring 20. Geller Green, they'll let you in, okay? If you buzz our door, there's no tip for you.
Okay, thanks. <sighs> Pizza's on the way. I told you we wouldn't have to get up. What if we have to pee? I'll cancel the sodas. It was summer. And it was hot. Rachel was there. A lonely gray couch. Oh, look, cried Ned. And then the kingdom was his forever, the end. Would you sleep with somebody to get a great job? I don't know. Who would I have to sleep with? Me. Why would I have to sleep with you? It's my game. You want the job or not? Does anybody want these? No, I'll take one. Sometimes I like to hold stuff like this and pretend I'm a giant. Remember when sometimes he'd borrow your hat and, and when you got it back, there'd be little monkey raisins in it? Yeah, well, sure, when he did it, it was funny. When I did it to my boss's hat, all of a sudden I had this big attitude problem. Hey, Eddie. Stop! <laughs> what are you doing here? Nothing, Rumi. Just watching you sleep. Why? Makes me feel, um... Peaceful. <clears throat> Please. I can't sleep now. Oh, you, you want me to sing? No. Look, that's it. It's over. I want you out. I want you out of the apartment now. Oh, what, what are you talking about, man? Hannibal Lecter? <laughs> Better roommate than you. No. See, now I don't think you're being fair. I mean, one night you see me and you get scared. I mean, well, what about all the other nights when you don't see me, huh? <laughs> What about last night, when you went and got a drink of water and I was nice enough to hide behind the door? What's that about, huh? I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah. Get out now! Okay. <laughs> you really want me out? Yes, please. Okay, then I want to hear you say it. I, I want to hear you say, you want me out. I want you out. No, no, no. I want to hear it from your lips. <laughs> Where did you hear it from before? Oh, all right, all right. But you know what, Pally, I understand. Consider me gone. You know what? I'll be out by the time you get home from work tomorrow. I heard that. <laughs> Why must everybody watch me sleep? There'll be no more watching me sleep. No more watching. I want Nick! <laughs> Except the dehydrator here, I got some grapes, got some apricots. I thought it'd be really cool to see what happens with these water balloons. <laughs> Get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. What? You, move out. Take your fruit, your stupid small fruit, and get out. <laughs> you want me to move out? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I, uh, whew, <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, I mean, that's, uh, it's kind of out of the blue. I mean, don't you think? <laughs> this is not out of the blue. This is smack dab in the middle of the blue. <laughs> Give me five more. Yeah. Five more. Yeah. Five more, and I'll flash you. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Two and a half. Okay, just show me one of them. No, 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 no. <laughs> Monica, it's Sunday morning. I'm not running on a Sunday. Why not? Because it's Sunday. It's God's day. Hey, you say stop, and we stop. <laughs> okay. Stop. Okay, I don't, I don't mind the last pound, okay? In fact, I kind of like the last pound. Okay, so don't make me do anything that I'll regret. <sighs> oh, what you gonna do, fat boy, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing, except tell you uh, I think it's wonderful how much energy you have. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I mean, especially considering how tough it's been for you to find work. You know. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't tell your parents you were fired because they'd be disappointed. Uh-huh. And it's not as if you have a boyfriend's shoulder to cry on. Well, no, but I... I mean, 
If it were me, I think I'd have difficulty just getting out of bed at all. You know, I try to stay positive. So you... You feel like going for a run? All right. Because, you know, you don't have to. If you want, you could just take a nap right here. Okay. Just for a little while. Okay. Gym card? Oh, yeah. Gym member. I try to go four times a week, but I've missed the last 1,200 times. So why don't you quit? You don't think I've tried? You think I like having $50 taken out of my bank account every month? No, they make you go all the way down there. Then they use all these phrases and peppiness to try to confuse you. And then they bring out Maria. Who is Maria? Oh, Maria. <laughs> you can't say no to her. She's like this lycra spandex-covered gym treat. <laughs> Rach, funny story. I bumped into Joanna on the street yesterday. My boss, Joanna? Wow, that must have been awkward. Well, no, actually, she uh, asked me if I wanted to get a drink. <gasps> you, uh, didn't say yes to that, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> Well, not at first. <laughs> Hello, Joanna. <laughs> office. I'm really sorry, but I may be a little while longer. A little. Awful. Look, this isn't funny. You get back here right now. I can't. Why not? I'm in my boss's car. What? Uh-oh, tunnel. <laughs> what? Rachel, could I see you for a moment? <laughs> Chandler, you got yourself into those cuffs, you get yourself out of them. No, 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 I can't get myself right out of them. You must have me confused with the amazing Chandler. <laughs> Come on, you have to unlock me. She could be gone for hours, and I'm cold, and... <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, this is much better. Chandler! Chandler, please, I have to get you locked up back the way you were. I'm so gonna lose my job. She's very private about her office. Now I know why. Hey, look, you were in trouble either way, okay? If she comes in and sees me locked to this instead of the chair, she's gonna know you were in here, so you might as well just let me go. What if I clean your bathroom for a month? Still wouldn't be clean. <laughs> All I want is my freedom. Foot rubs for a month. Freedom. I'll take all of your photos and I'll put them into photo albums. Freedom. I want my freedom. Why won't you hear me? Sophie, help me. Help me. Sophie, sit. Freedom. Get out. No. Oh. God, would you just calm down? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to say this for the last time. Would you please just... <laughs>
Dusty wouldn't take the chairs. <laughs> what the hell happened? How are you locked in? Where the hell's all of our stuff? <laughs> well, this guy came by to look at the unit, and, and he said he didn't think it was big enough to fit a grown man. So, you got in voluntarily? I was trying to make a sale. <laughs> oh, man, if I ever run into that guy again, you know what I'm gonna do? Bend over? <laughs> 99, 100, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> All right, let's go over the concept one more time. <laughs> okay, you were right. I'm in love with Joey's girlfriend. What? Are you serious? What? How, how is that possible? You barely know her. I don't know. I can't, I, just, I can't get her out of my head, you know? I mean, I'm a very bad person. I'm a very, very bad person. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> No, you're not, Chandler. We still love you, Chandler. <laughs> I know what it is to be a friend. I just, I screwed up. Yeah, you did. And that's why I'm leaving. All right, look, if you're not going to stay for me, then at least stay for them. <laughs> okay, they have had a very difficult year. What, with the robbery and all? Well, that guy was robbing us when I was locked in the entertainment unit for like six hours. Do you know what I was doing in there all that time? I was thinking about how I let you down. Wow. Yeah. But if I don't know what kind of friend you were going to turn out to be, I wouldn't have worried about it so much. See you around. All right, wait. Come on. Wait, just wait one second. There has to be something that I can do. Something. If we still had that entertainment unit, I would get in there for six hours and think about how I let you down. <laughs> what? We got a box. Is the point of the box? Chandler? The meaning of the box is threefold. One, it gives me the time to think about what I did. Two, it proves how much I care about my friendship with Joey. And three, it hurts. Have you ever been with a woman? with you so there is no good time to ask that question then what is it well kathy's last boyfriend was joey and you're afraid you won't be able to fill his shoes no i'm afraid i won't be able to make love as well as him yeah i was going for the metaphor yes and i was saying the actual words according to chandler what phenomenon scares the bejesus out of him That is correct. <laughs> the Irish jig guy? His legs flail about as if independent from his body. <laughs> Gentlemen, your pick. It's all relative. Monica and I had a grandmother who died. You both went to her funeral. Name that grandmother. <laughs> Nana? She has a real name. <laughs> Althea! Althea! What are you doing? I took a shot. You're shooting with Althea? Althea is correct. My shooting! <laughs> <laughs> like somebody literally wrote down my worst nightmare and then charged me $32 to see it. <laughs> Steps. <laughs> Slut! <laughs> I don't live here. <laughs> Chandler. Chandler, what is hey, Are you sure? Well, I may be drunk, but I know what she said. So then I went over to Beefsteak Chulies. Beefsteak Charlie's? Yes. See, you and I have always been like. You know what? I knew something like this was going to happen. What are you doing? Chandler. You can't just go back a phase. Yes, you can. You're thinking about time. You can't go back in time. <laughs> I just achieved phase three. Really? I am totally picturing you with all those women. That's, that's not phase three. Well, I'm there, too. <laughs> well, are we all together, like, in a group? Stop it. You're killing me. <laughs> I think I just moved on to phase four. Oh, what is that? What is that? Well, no one 
have a relationship ever. I just want to have sex with strippers and my friends. <laughs> Hey, you want a beer? Whoa! Open it up! Open it up! Open it up! We'll discuss it in the morning. We are switching back right now. No, we're not. We're not leaving. Well, you're gonna have to leave sometime because you both have jobs, and as soon as you do, we're switching it back. There's nothing you can do to stop us. Right, Joe? I don't know. I... <laughs> what? I don't want to move again. With a... In that... oh. I don't care. This is our apartment. And they stole. You stole. <laughs> our apartment. We won that apartment fair and square twice. And I'm getting it back right now. I'm getting it back right now. <laughs> Kidding me? <laughs> Joey. 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 Did I wake you? Well, she's got you running errands, you know, picking up wedding dresses. <laughs> Whoppa! <laughs> What's Whoppa? You know, whipped. Whoppa! <laughs> it's not whipped. Whipped is. Whoopsh. <laughs> That's what I did. Whoppa! Do anything. All right, buddy. Time to roll over. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are going to a clinic. You're going to a clinic and a pajama store. <laughs> Look, I am serious, okay? Tomorrow at 3.30, I'm going down to the courthouse. You're actually going through with this? Hey, look, this name has been holding me back my entire life. Okay, it's probably why kids picked on me in school and why I never do well with women. So, as of 4 o'clock tomorrow, I'm either going to be Mark Johnson or John Markson. <laughs> You've got problems because of you, not your name. <laughs> Sorry, this has got to stop. Chandler is a great name. In fact... Yes. I'm sorry, I know you really wanted me to name the baby Joey, but so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name the baby Chandler. Really? Yeah, but you have to keep the name too. Okay, thanks. Okay. You wanna hug it out? Yeah. <laughs> yay. Hey. Yay, oh yay. Okay, I'm gonna go tell Frank and Alice right okay. now. Okay. <gasps> bye, Phoebe. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh. We swore we'd never tell. They'll never understand. <laughs> well, we have to say something. We have to get it out. It's eating me alive. <laughs> Monica got stung by a jellyfish. All right. All right. <laughs> we were two miles from the house. <laughs> we were scared and alone. We didn't think we could make it. I was in too much pain. And I was tired from digging the huge hole. So I, uh, I turned to Chandler. <laughs> Joy kept screaming at me, do it now, do it, do it, do it now. Sometimes late at night, I can still hear this screaming. Jen. 
We were playing gin? <laughs> you know, if we were a couple, we could play this game naked. <laughs> Would you stop? Okay. All right. Okay, all right. I think you're great. I think you're sweet and you're smart. And I love you. But you will always be the guy who peed on me. <laughs> You know, I was thinking, what if I, uh, unpack here? Then all your stuff would be here. <laughs> well, what if all my stuff was here? Well, then you'd be going back and forth all the time. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> what if we live together and you understand what I'm saying? together there have been no signs for that me asking is kind of a sign yes! oh, oh, thought you were rachel what gave me away i just gotta tell her i have to get it over with i've told ross and phoebe and she's the only one left okay that's it so everybody knows it's official we're moving in together no turning back are you scared are you? No. Wow, that was my scariest voice. You're very brave. <laughs> this sucks. Look, I'm, I'm just going to be right across the hall, and I promise you, the minute Monica and I break up, I'm moving right back in with you. <laughs> hey! Do not cry my eyes out. Come on, it's like the end of an era. No more J-Man and Channy. <laughs> okay, I got to ask, who calls us that? <laughs> Uh, how about, how about, you know what? We, we can play a new game. A new game. It's fun. Well, what's it called? Cups. <laughs> I don't know how to play cups. I'll teach you. Come on, come on. It's really easy. Really, really fun. All right. Okay, here you go. I have two queens. What do you have? A two and a five. Oh, <laughs> you win. $50. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's play again. Ready? <laughs> what do you got? Four and a nine. You're kidding, right? No, why? Well, that's a full cup. <laughs> Damn, I am good at cups. <laughs> you win. Well, what did you have? Well, it doesn't matter. Nothing beats a three and a six. <laughs> that, my friend, is D-cup. <laughs> okay, now, how much have you won so far? Uh, wow. 700. Not 700, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Double it. <laughs> what? Yeah, see, in cups, once you get $700, you have to double it. <laughs> Ooh, hey, I didn't make up the rules. <laughs> okay, so now after you receive the doubling bonus, you get uh, one card. Now, that one card could be worth $100, which brings your total to $1,500. <laughs> oh, no, no, uh, don't get too excited, because that's not going to happen unless you get the... No way! <laughs> Love is the best medicine. That's laughter. Why do you do it? I don't know. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh my God, someone's killed Square Man. <laughs> mm, I want to show you something too. Okay. You know those big, big uh, road signs that say, that say merge? Mm -hmm. You know? So I was thinking that we could get one of those signs and hang it over our bed. <laughs> because that's you and I together. Merge. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Really? <laughs> Uh, no. Hey. 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 What's going on? Well, Joey's got a really bad hernia, but it's nothing that a little laser eye surgery won't fix. <laughs> hey, I am officially unpacked. Thanks for helping me, man. Joe? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess Joey went home. <laughs> oh, and look, there is still one box that I have to unpack. <laughs> well, <that got you. laughs> oh my god you almost gave me a heart attack oh <laughs> well, it was so hard not to laugh <laughs> hi my name's chandler i just moved in next door and i was wondering if you'd be interested in battling me in a post-apocalyptic world for control of the galaxy's last remaining energy source sure well, name it, baby <laughs>
Hey, Chandler. Come on in, we're knitting pot holders. No thanks, Josephine. Hey, Ross, I was wondering if... Oh, my God! Where are all the men? What is the matter with you? What? You're arranging flowers! You got, you got, you got dead flowers! You got, a, you got a picture of a baby dressed like flowers! This is not Joey. Hey, hey, look, I am still Joey, okay? Flowers, they're just, you know, they're nice to look at. And that happens to be a picture by a famous artist of a famous baby. <laughs> You're turning into a woman. No, I'm not. Why would you say that? That's just mean. Now I've upset you? What did I say? Not what you said, it's just the way you said it. <laughs> oh, my God! I'm a woman! <laughs> This is so good that I'm going to go enjoy it on the balcony. <laughs> so that I can enjoy the view whilst I enjoy my dessert. Just grabbed it and then... <laughs> and then tried to fly away with it and... and then just dropped it on the street? Yes, but if it's any consolation before the bird dropped it, he seemed to enjoy it. Uh, Chandler was just saying how beautiful your sweater is. Oh, thank you, Chandler. I just bought it. Oh, yes. Well, it's very beautiful, and it's cream-colored and tight, and... <laughs> I don't mean tight. I mean, it's not too tight. Not that I was looking at... What's the matter with him? I think he's stoned again. <laughs> Chandler, you've been Ross's best friend all these years, stuck by him during the drug problems. <laughs> You've taken on Monica as well. Well, I don't know what to say. You're a wonderful human being. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. You know, if I'm going to bed, then you're coming with me. <laughs> See, that would be impossible to resist if you weren't all drippy here. <laughs> Are you saying that you don't want to get with this? Yeah, I don't think you should say that even when you're healthy. We are two healthy people and the bribe of live. See, that's the thing. I would like to stay in the prime of life. Chandler, I think I'm sick. Really? Struck down in the pry by blab. So you just kind of rubbing it on yourself? Yeah. It's nice. So you want to go uh, mix it up? Now I'm sick. Oh, come on, you big faker. <laughs> what happened to your rule about never sleeping with sick people? Well, that was before all the vaporizing action. <laughs> that story doesn't make you cry? No, look, I don't cry. It's not a big deal, okay? No, it's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay at all. You're dead inside. <laughs> Hey, sweetie. Hey. Chicken soup for the soul? There's no back to this couch. <laughs> oh my God, are, are you crying? I just don't see why those two can't work things out. Yes, honey, I've made it myself. <laughs> I 
I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, oh, a mixtape. A mixtape. You are just the sweetest. Mm -hmm. I love the way you look every night, Chandler. <laughs> You're the sweetest. Come on, Monica, it's our Valentine's Day. Please, 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 please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My funny Valentine. Sweet comic Valentine. You make me So are we going in there? I'm oh, sorry. Please stop freaking out. I'm not freaking out. <laughs> Why would I be freaking out? A woman named Hildy called and said we were getting married, but that happens every day. <laughs> it was a mistake. Please don't take this to mean anything because it doesn't. Okay. Really? Yes, if it really doesn't mean anything, because you know that I'm just not ready. I know. I know. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go tell Joey that, that you're back. He's really worried about you. Hey, did she buy it? Totally. So did Hildy show you the place? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're gonna ask Monica to marry you. I know. Where the hell have you been? I was making a coconut phone with the professor. <laughs> Richard told Monica he wants to marry her. What? Yeah, he's not supposed to ask my girlfriend to marry him. I'm supposed to do that. I know. Well, what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> Will you help me? Chandler, where is she? I'm not scared of you. <laughs> She's not here, and please come in. Scotch on the rocks, with a twist, on a coaster. <laughs> Monica, Monica! I am willing to offer her all those things. This was just a plan, you know, a way to throw her off course so that when I offered her all these things, she'd be surprised. Well, if it helps, it worked very well. <laughs> was working until you showed up, you big tree. Dude! I can't talk to you now. I gotta find Monica. She's gone. What? She's gone. She had a bag and she left. What are you talking about? She was all crying. She, she said you guys want different things and, and that she needed time to think. Well, why didn't you stop her? Why didn't you just tell her it was a plan? I, I did. I told her everything, Chandler, but she wouldn't believe me. Well, where... Where did she go? To her parents, I think. And she said that you shouldn't call her. But if I were you, I would. I can't believe I ruined this. I am so sorry, man. You wanted it to be a surprise.
Ross and Charlie, Joey and Rachel, Phoebe and Mike. We're the only people leaving with the same person we came with. That's not true. I came with Monica, and I'm leaving with Weird Al. Chandler! Hey! Ah! What do you think? I think... I think I can see your scalp. And hey, listen to this. What do you know? It's a treat for the eyes and the ears. I wish I could switch with someone. I really don't want to sit with Alan Iverson over there. God, this adoption stuff is so overwhelming. There's inter-country adoption, dependency adoption. There's so many ways to go, and this is like the biggest decision of our lives. There's a hair in my coffee. We were the same thing when we were adopting. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of malfunctioning wee-wees and hoo-hoos in this room, huh? <laughs> I mean, you have a lovely home. <laughs> hey, you must be Owen. Yeah. I'm Chandler. Hey, I was in the Scouts, too. You were? Yeah. In fact, my father was a den mother. <laughs> huh? You know how to use a compass? I have a badge in it. You do? That's fantastic. You want to see it? I'd love to, but i got to get back to talking to your parents. They're telling us all about how they adopted you. What? <laughs> What? I'm adopted? I got nothing. Where are Bill and Colleen? No, they're in the kitchen getting us something to eat. Can you believe how nice they are? We have to leave. Why? What did you do in the bathroom? I didn't get to the bathroom. I bumped into Owen on the way, and he didn't know he was adopted. And there's a slight chance I may have told him. By the way, you should know, we haven't told him he's adopted yet. Well, kids are so intuitive. Don't you think on some level he already knows? I'm adopted? See? Intuitive. <laughs> what? Where did you hear that? He told me. <laughs> and he paid me $50 not to tell. Which technically now you should give back. You told him he's adopted? I'm so sorry, but you should have a sign out there or something. Or at least whisper it to people when they come in the door. Owen doesn't know he's adopted, and he also thinks Santa is real. He isn't? We have to get out of here, baby. <laughs> Owen didn't know he was adopted, and Monica told him. Still, he had to find out sometime. Yeah, but how would you like it if someone told the triplets that you gave birth to them? I'm going to go tell Emma she was an accident. You can't go away this weekend. It's Emma's birthday. Yeah. We're having a party. Well, can't you just have the party when we get back? <laughs> no, no, that's it. There won't be your real birthday. Gee, if only she were one and had no idea what the hell a birthday was. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. Where's the birthday girl? Oh, is she still napping? Oh, sure. She was probably up all night excited about the party she knows is happening. <laughs> okay. Hi, Emma. It's the year 2020. Are you still enjoying your nap? <laughs> All right, what was this sentence originally? Oh, they are warm, nice people with big hearts. And that became, they are humid, prepossessing homo sapiens <laughs> with full-sized aortic pumps. <laughs> what am I going to do now? Just pass the tape along. He's not right for the part, so if I suggest to my bosses, they're going to think I'm an idiot. And that's something they should learn on their own. <laughs> Next year, it's going to be you, me, and little Hemingway Bing. <laughs> what? He's my favorite author. Name one of his books. <laughs> the Firm? I'm serious. Let me do something. Just not the turkey or the stuffing. Nothing high profile. <laughs> oh, the cranberry sauce. It's easy to make and no one really cares about it. Tell me more. Okay, I'm going to go check on something across the hall. You start by washing these. Okay. Not with soap! <laughs> you obviously haven't tasted my palmala potatoes. We're really excited about getting this process started. Because we love kids. Love them to death. Well, 
Not actually to death, that's just a figure of speech. We love kids the appropriate amount. <laughs> As allowed by law. I went on a date with a guy who lived in this building and it didn't end very well. Uh, that wouldn't by any chance be Joey Tribbiani. <gasps> yes! Of course it was. <laughs> a really great night and in the morning he promised he would call me and he didn't rat bastard <laughs> you planning on staying at home hello anybody in there order a celebrity oh. what was that oh that's just some crazy guy who roams the halls here he's great with kids though is he all right out there by himself oh yeah he has a caretaker his older brother Ernie. Bert and Ernie. You can't make this stuff up. Why don't I show you the baby's room? What the hell are you doing? Well, you wouldn't let me in, so I thought you were in trouble. Well, we're not. But you called me Bert. That's our code word for danger. We don't have a code word. We don't? We really should. From now on, Bert will be our code word for danger. So that was the baby's room. Uh, what room should we see next? Any room that isn't behind this couch. <laughs> I did not care for that. I'm telling you guys, we followed them out to a house in Westchester. They went in for like 45 minutes, and then they came out looking pretty happy. Chandler? Mm -hmm. 45 minutes? <laughs> well, something's not right. Hey, you son of a bitch. Is it me, or have the greetings gone downhill around here? Phoebe and Rachel saw you with Nancy today, and... Um, they think you're having an affair. Nancy is our realtor. I knew he couldn't be with a woman for 45 minutes. <laughs> he was roommates with John Rosoff. He went out with Andrea Tamburino. She dumped him for Michael Skloff. Did I go to this school? Hey, there's Missy Goldberg. You gotta remember her. Sure. Nice. Dude, you're married to my sister. You're right. By saying nice, I'm virtually licking her. Oh, man. Oh, this is like figure skating team all over again. I mean, synchronized swimming. I mean, I mean the balance beam. Help me. Football. Thank you. And uh, plus, she's never been to New York, so she wants to see all the tourist spots, the... You know, Statue of Liberty and Empire State Building. Oh, those places. There's always so many people and they're being corralled like cattle. And, you know, there's always some idiot who goes, moo. <laughs> what are you going to be doing today? Well, I want to see everything. Times Square, Coney Island, Rockefeller Center. Oh, you know what you should do? You should walk all the way to the top of the Statue of Liberty. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Great. <gasps> this baby better be really good. Listen, I want to apologize about Chandler, though. I, I just did not see this coming. New York is awesome! <laughs> what is with you? Yeah, I've been to this before, but I've never really seen him, you know? Yeah, you miss a lot when you're mooing. <laughs> what does the other guy do? Does, does he go to college, too? No, he's in prison. <laughs> oh. Well, well, was he falsely accused of something? No. He killed his father with a shovel. <laughs> but other than that, he's a great guy. I'll bet his dad doesn't think so. Is he just getting out of bed at all? You know, I try to stay positive. So you... You feel like going for a run? <laughs> all right. Because, you know, you don't have to. If you want, you could just take a nap right here. Okay. Just for a little while. Okay. Is this a 
the gym card? Oh, yeah, gym member. I try to go four times a week, but I've missed the last 1,200 times. So why don't you quit? You don't think I've tried? You think I like having $50 taken out of my bank account every month? No, they make you go all the way down there. Then they use all these phrases and peppiness to try to confuse you. And then they bring out Maria. Who is Maria? Oh, Maria. <laughs> you can't say no to her. She's like this lycra spandex-covered gym treat. <laughs> Rach, funny story. I bumped into Joanna on the street yesterday. My boss, Joanna? Wow, that must have been awkward. Well, no, actually, she uh, asked me if I wanted to get a drink. <laughs> you, uh, didn't say yes to that, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> well, not at first. Hello, Joanna. This office. I'm really sorry, but I may be a little while longer. How little? A couple hours. I feel awful. Look, this isn't funny. You get back here right now. I can't. Why not? I'm in my boss's car. What? Uh-oh, tunnel. What? Rachel, could I see you for a moment? <laughs> you know what, Chandler? You got yourself into those cuffs, you get yourself out of them. No, 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 no. I can't get myself right out of them. You must have me confused with the amazing Chandler. <laughs> Come on, you have to unlock me. She could be gone for hours, and I'm cold, and... <laughs> no, no, no. Well, this is much better. Chandler! Chandler, please, I have to get you locked up back the way you were. I'm so gonna lose my job. She's very private about her office. Now I know why. Hey, look, you were in trouble either way, okay? If she comes in and sees me locked to this instead of the chair, she's gonna know you were in here, so you might as well just let me go. What if I clean your bathroom for a month? Still wouldn't be clean. <laughs> All I want is my freedom. Foot rubs for a month. Freedom. I'll take all of your photos and I'll put them into photo albums. Freedom. I want my freedom. Why won't you hear me? Sophie, help me. Help me. Sophie, sit. Freedom. Give me one. No. Oh. God, would you just calm down? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to say this for the last time. Would you please just... <laughs>
It's my game. You want the job or not? Does anybody want these? No, I'll take one. Sometimes I like to hold stuff like this and pretend I'm a giant. Remember when sometimes he'd borrow your hat and, and when you got it back, there'd be little monkey raisins in it? Yeah, well, sure, when he did it, it was funny. When I did it to my boss's hat, all of a sudden I had this big attitude problem. Hey, Eddie. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing here? Nothing, Rumi. Just watching you sleep. Why? Makes me feel, um, peaceful. <clears throat> Please. I can't sleep now. Oh, you, you want me to sing? <laughs> no. Look, that's it. It's over. I want you out. I want you out of the apartment now. Oh, well, what, are you, what are you talking about, man? Hannibal Lecter? <laughs> Better roommate than you. No. <laughs> See, now I don't think you're being fair. I mean, one night you see me and you get scared. I mean, well, what about all the other nights when you don't see me, huh? What about last night when you went and got a drink of water and I was nice enough to hide behind the door? What's that about, huh? I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah. Get out now. Okay. You really want me out? Yes, please. Okay, then I want to hear you say it. I, I want to hear you say you want me out. I want you out. No, no, no. I want to hear it from your lips. <laughs> All right, but you know what, Pally, I understand. Consider me gone. You know what? I'll be out by the time you get home from work tomorrow. I heard that. <laughs> Why must everybody watch me sleep? There'll be no more watching me sleep. No more watching. Stuff to dehydrate here. I got some grapes, got some apricots. I thought it'd be really cool to see what happens with these water balloons. <laughs> get, out. get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. What? You, move out. Take your fruit, your stupid small fruit, and get out. <laughs> you want me to move out? Uh huh. <laughs> I, uh, whew, <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, I mean, that's, uh, it's kind of out of the blue. I mean, don't you think? This is not out of the blue. This is smack dab in the middle of the blue. Oh, oh and give me five more. Yeah. Five more. Yeah. Five more, and I'll flash you. Yeah. Two. Two and a half. Okay, just show me one of them. No, 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 no. <laughs> Monica, it's Sunday morning. I'm not running on a Sunday. Why not? Because it's Sunday. <laughs> it's God's day. Hey, you say stop, and we stop. <laughs> okay. Stop. Okay, I don't, I don't mind the last pound, okay? In fact, I kind of like the last pound. Okay, so don't make me do anything that I'll regret. Oh, what you gonna do, fat boy, huh? <laughs> what? Nothing. Except tell you, uh, I think it's wonderful how much energy you have. Well, thanks. <laughs> I mean, especially considering how tough it's been for you to find work. You know. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't tell your parents you were fired because they'd be disappointed. Uh-huh. And it's not as if you have a boyfriend's shoulder to cry on. Well, no, but I... I mean, if it were me, I think I'd have difficulty... So, Saturday night, the big night, date night, Saturday night, Saturday night. <laughs> no plans, huh? Not a one.
uh, how old is that sock? <laughs> if I had a sock on my hand for 30 years, I'd be talking too. Okay, I think it's time to change somebody's nicotine patch. Hey. Where's Joey? Joey ate my last stick of gum, so I killed him. <laughs> Do you think that was wrong? Thing, Janice, you know, I mean, it's like we're different, you know, I'm like the bing, 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 you're like the boom, boom, boom. Ow! Oh, my God! Ow. I'm so sorry. Ow. Are you okay? Ow. Um, it's just my lens, it's my lens. Um, Yo. Uh, I'll be right back. Ow. I hit her in the eye. I hit her in the eye. This is the worst breakup in the history of the world. Oh, my God. One thing. What? What? That's a relatively open weave, and I can still see your nipular area. Oh. <laughs> still upset because I saw her boobies. <laughs> well, what? what? What were you doing seeing her boobies? It was an accident. Not like I was across the street with a telescope and a box of donuts. <laughs> you guys, you know what I just realized? Joker is poker with a J. <laughs> Coincidence? Hey, that's that's Joe incidence with a C. <laughs> I'll show you to my room. That sounds so weird when it's not followed by no thanks, it's late. Ooh. Rach, Rach, we gotta settle. Settle what? The Jamestown colony of Virginia. <laughs> You see, King George is giving us the land, so... <laughs> Hey, Mr. Kostelik, how's life on the 15th floor? Yeah, I miss you, too. Yeah, it's a lot less satisfying to steal pens from your own home, you know? <laughs> well, that's very generous. Ah, uh, but look, this isn't about the money, you know? It's just, I need something that's more than a job. I need something I really care about. And that's on top of the year-end bonus structure you mentioned earlier? Dream, dream. dream. Look, Al, Al, I'm not playing hardball here, okay? This is not a negotiation. This is a, this is a rejection. No, 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 stop saying, no, stop saying numbers. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. You've got the wrong guy. I'll see you Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Helen, could you come in here for a moment? Thank you, Helen. That'll be all. <laughs> Last time I do that, I promise. <laughs> yes, Fran, I know what time it is, but I'm looking at the weenus, and I'm not happy. <laughs> oh, Rit, 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 well, let me tell you something. You will care about it, because I care about it. You got it? Good. What? I thought you'd do that. No. -uh. <laughs> Who doesn't like me? Everyone. Can I talk to you for a sec? Your tailor is a very bad man. <laughs> Frankie, what are you talking about? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Joey's tailor? took advantage of me. <laughs> what? No way. I've been going to the guy for 12 years. Hey, oh, come on. He said he was going to do my inseam, then he ran his hand up my leg, and then there was definite... What? Cupping. <laughs> That's how they do pits. First they go up one side, they move it over, then they go up the other side, they move it back, and then they do the rear. Ross, will you tell him? Isn't that how a tailor measures pants? Yes, yes, it is. 
In prison? <laughs>
That is so not. That is so not. That. Oh, shut up. You'll get one. Oh, yeah? When? All right, I'll tell you what. When we're 40, if neither of us are married, what do you say you and I get together and have one? Why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I just meant hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I, no, what is it? Seriously, is there something fundamentally unmarriable about me? Uh, uh... Well? Dear God, this, this parachute is a knapsack. <laughs> There's a little child inside this man. Yes, the doctors say if they remove it, he'll die. <laughs> Who's this from? Oh, that's uh, Rust. Oh. <clears throat> oh, my God. He remembered. Remembered what? It was like months ago. We were walking by this antique store. And I saw this pin in the window, and I told him that it was just like one my grandmother had when I was a little girl. Oh, I can't believe he remembered. Well, sure, but can you play it on a plane? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so pretty. This must have cost him a fortune. I can't believe he did this. Oh, come on, Ross, remember back in college when he fell in love with Carol and bought her that ridiculously expensive crystal duck? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Crystal Duck. No, no, no. The, um, the love part? Flannan. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. That's good. Just keep rubbing your head. That'll turn back time. <laughs> hey, Chen, can you help me out here? I promise I'll pay you back. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Including the waffles last week, you now owe me $17 jillion. <laughs> okay, I think she's trying to tell us something. <laughs> Quick, get the verbs. Anybody know a good tailor? You need some clothes altered? No, no. I'm just looking for a man to draw on me with Chuck. <laughs> Why don't you go see Frankie? My family's been going to him forever. He did my first suit when I was 15. No, wait. 16. No. Excuse me. 15. All right, when was 1990? Okay, you have to stop the Q-tip when there's resistance. Despite the yummy bagels and palpable tension, I've got pants that need to be altered. <clears throat> oh, hey, Chandler, when you see Frankie, tell him Joey Tribbiani says hello. He'll know what it means. <laughs> you sure he's going to be able to crack that code? How long do you want the cuffs? Ah, at least as long as I have the pants. <laughs> I just got that. Okay, now we'll do your inseam. <clears throat> Yo, Paisan. 